Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginand and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some sounds from the song Vanished by the band Crystal Castles. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we got two sounds to make and the first one is this bass. <laughs> Okay, turning off the equalizer, delay modulator, and the redux. Now bringing back the default patch. Okay. First thing we're going to do is saturate this a bit and raise the pre-gain to 862. Then on the filter, we're going to drop the filter to 40. Resonance to 332. Okay, change performance mode from poly to mono. And now here on the envelope generator 2, amount, the amount of this envelope generator modulating to cutoff frequency, we want to raise it to 800 and 2. Okay, now for the first envelope generator that modulates the amplitude, we want zero attack, maximum decay and sustain, and 92 release. 93 should be okay. Envelope generator 2, attack at zero, sustain at zero, 406 decay. Release at 100. So we got our first sound patch ready. Then we got this redux that's reducing the sample the, the sample resolution to 4.89 uh, kilohertz and the resolution to 4 bits. Then we got a delay modulator increasing the stereo width with a time of 337, zero feedback, 140 rate and 453 depth and a dry wet of 597. Finally, we got this equalizer, which has a, a low pass filter at below 11.9 kilohertz. We got a deep of 12.5 dBs around 1 kilohertz, 0 0.09. And we got a boost of about 2.60 dBs at around 2.35 kilohertz. This is our first sound. Now for the second. This distortion is actually made by this amp simulator on the rock um, algorithm. And I'm gonna turn it off for now. Actually, I'm just turning off the, the, um, the channel because as you can see, there is also an equalizer that it's cutting the high frequencies. Now without it, turning off the equalizer, K7D, delay modulator, okay, and now bringing back the default patch, okay? First thing we're going to do is change the first oscillator to a square, then raise the second oscillator to maximum, drop one octave, and detune it to 92. Okay, now raise the pregain to 862. And now drop the cutoff filter to 366. Change the filter mode from a low pass 4 pole to a low pass 2 pole. This means that there will be more high frequencies passing the filter. And now we can go to the LFO2 and put the rate at, yeah, 354 should be okay. Now we go to the pitch modulation. And on the pitch modulation, we want the envelope generator one modulating the pitch. And we're going to raise it to 186. Like this. And on the second one, we're going to change to LFO2 and raise it to 268. Okay. And 
now we can go to the first envelope generator, controlling the amplitude, and we want zero attack, maximum decay, and a sustain of 271. Release of 300, and for the second envelope generator, we want zero attack, zero sustain, a decay of 230, and a release of 100. Now we go to the reverb, raise the amount to 267, a decay of 766, and a modulation of 315. And now we can go to our processing. First, the delay modulator with 273 times zero feedback, 287 depth, and 137 rate with full wet. Then we got a K70, our tape delay. And it has a time of 1 eighth, default feedback, a dry wet of 387. And then on the character, we got it at ping pong with full stereo width and full wow. Now for the equalizer, we got a low pass filter uh, at 7.74 kilohertz. We got a deep of minus 8.8 .8 dBs at 323 hertz. And we got another one of minus 7.56 dBs at 1.29 kilohertz. Finally, we turn the um, amplifier that we talked about earlier. And we got our sound ready, so bear with me a second while I get this ready for us to listen to. Okay, we got this ready. So let's now listen. And that was it, guys. And this was it, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It was a short one, but the truth is that Crystal Castles have this kind of weird sound. They had they use a lot of probably hardware processing to get that strange lo-fi feeling on those sounds, and that's really not easy to reproduce. But I hope that I got close enough. Uh, I think, but it was fun to make and try and get there for sure. So I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. I have to tell you that we have a giveaway of an iPad still going on on Instagram. So be sure to check that out. And if you like the video and if you like our channel, please give us a like and subscribe because that really means a lot to us. Remember to come here again and check us out because we have new content coming up every week. And I will now say goodbye.